catching our breath after a phenomenal second moto here, the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Jason Wigand and David Bailey here. We're going to run you through it with our Lucas Oil race recap. Michael Leslie wins the overall, but in the moto, it's Josh Grant getting the start and also getting the finish. Take us through it, David. Josh had the inside and just took care of that first turn and made sure there was no way that Mike was going to be able to come around the outside the way that Chad Reed was able to get Andrew Short. He had to really push it into that corner. Almost went off the racetrack, but gets the spot. Meanwhile, out front, watch Josh. Wow. Whoa! I thought he was going to fall. He stays on it. Mike had nowhere to go. <laughs> he dives to the inside, and he almost falls. The panic rev by Josh. Mike's thinking, I got it. But Josh just kept fighting. Mike made him earn it, though. Great race. And you see Reed was able to sneak in there right at the end for third. Grant, spectacular finish, holds off Alessi. Alessi wins the overall. Josh Grant wins the moto. We'll show you the results from this one. It was a bang, bang, bang finish. Grant, Alessi, and Reed. Well done for Ivan Tedesco, who takes fourth. And Dan Reardon, career best in the 450 class, with a fifth. You check out the rest of the top ten. Josh Grant's got to be happy, though, to take that. Jeff Alessi, that's Mike's brother, taking 16th. Not bad for him. Michael Byrne on the rebound from injury takes 14. Let's go down to the podium with Aaron and Josh Grant. Josh Grant might be this year's rookie, but that doesn't mean he's going to crack under pressure or be intimidated by anybody. Josh, you held them off fair and square. That was quite the battle. What does that do for your confidence? Uh, it was good. You know, I just the first moto I didn't get the start I wanted, and I went down and just struggled a lot, you know, trying to come through the pack. Uh, the track was really one line, but, you know, moto two is different. Finally got that patent hole shot here, and, I don't know. I'm, I'm just excited. I'm glad to get JGR, Toyota, you know, Yamaha, No Fear, everyone that's helped us out, Oakley, Shoei. Uh, you know, it's been a good season so far, and I want to keep the ball rolling. What means more to you? You're, you're a total team player, but not only the first 450 victory for yourself, but for the team. What does that mean? What means more? Oh, it's good. You know, I can't wait. I get back to the shop and to celebrate with everybody, you know, how good we rode and how well we came through the, with the bike. So I'm excited. You know, I just want Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota Yamaha up, to be up here every weekend, so that's what I'm going to do. Congratulations on your moto victory. Yeah, the kid from Riverside who now lives in North Carolina has delivered a victory. We'll be back to talk to our overall winner, that man, Mike Alessi, when we return on speed. Stay with us. Welcome back. Mike Alessi, he's pretty tired there, but trust me, he's happy as well. Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. It's a wrap from Hangtown. We'll show you the overall results. Alessi with one moto win and one second place finish. That's 47 points. He's your winner today, Ivan Tedesco, second overall. He was on the podium last year here at Hangtown. Works the magic again. And Grant holds on for third in front of Reed. Let's go back down to Aaron with our overall winner. The last overall that Michael Alessi scored was here at Hangtown in 2006 in the 250 class. He does it again here in 2009, this time on the big bike. Mike, what does this moment mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. You know, my first ever motocross uh, overall win. It's great. You know, I feel great. You know, uh, didn't get the whole shot that time, uh, but uh, rode a consistent race, rode really smart. You know, I, I never really put myself in a position where I was riding over my, over my head at all, so... You know, I just, I, Josh was riding a great race, and uh, it's just awesome for me to uh, to come out with the overall. I want to thank all the guys at Rockstar, Makita Suzuki, uh, Smith Goggles, Alpine Stars, uh, uh, Shark Helmet, my mom and dad, my good, my girlfriend Danielle, uh, the good Lord Jesus Christ to keep me safe, uh, my Dr. Stein from Stein Car Practice, my good friend Michelle, uh, just everybody, all my family and friends for supporting me, and it's just, uh, it's nice that it's finally paying off. My trainer, Jay, who's been training me hard the last couple weeks, and uh it's, uh, it seems like it's paying off, and uh, just want to thank all my family and friends again, and uh, James Stewart, who's probably watching this. Uh, thanks again, bud, for all the uh, help, and uh, I almost went one today, 1-1, one, one, but 1-2 uh, would do it, but thanks again, James. You're the man. Speaking of going 1-1, one, one, it looked as though at one point you could have pressured Josh Grant a little bit, but you backed it down. You were patient. You were playing it smart, but then you got a second win, and you wanted that victory back. Yeah, I, saw, I mean, Josh was riding good, but he was taking all the good lines, and it was hard to pass when, they, you know, the guy was taking all the good lines, so I felt like I was just riding my own race, didn't really worry about anybody. Uh, I saw the pit board that Chad was catching up, but then he called back at the very end, so, you know, like I said, just riding my own race, and it feels good to finally win. Thanks again. Congratulations on your first career overall win. Coming up next on Speed, it's AMA Pro Primetime. Tune in as the world's fastest motorcycles tear up the track. Join the host, Ralph Shaheen, for all the two-wheeled action plus analysis you can't get anywhere else. AMA Pro Primetime from Infineon, next, only on Speed.
Got point standings here after this. Ryan Villapoto came in as the points leader. Only completed one moto today, and he is going to be out for the season with a knee injury. So as we re-rack it, Mike Alessi now back up top. His first ever victory in the 450 class, but he has been close on championships before with his consistency. He's going to be hard at the top. Let's go back down to Aaron on the podium. Ivan Tedesco managed to keep his pants on for this entire moto. Ivan, it seems like the good old Ivan Tedesco is back in action. What is it that's made the difference? I don't know. I, I hope the, the old Ivan's back. You know, last year I got on the podium here at Hangtown also, and I, then I got injured uh, the next race. So I'm getting the ball rolling again. You know, my Supercross season wasn't as great as I'd like. You know, I don't know. I kind of maybe overtrained a little bit in off season and coming into the season. It took me a little while to get going, but I feel like I'm back back uh, to where I need to be. And uh, obviously today I got second. So. Hope I could, uh, you know, keep it going. Congratulations. Great to see you back. And Chad Reed making a hard charge out there. Chad, obviously your first moto didn't go as planned, but the second moto, you meant business. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, full motos in, and we feel good. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun out here, and uh, on paper, I'm not really that pumped with the results, but overall, you know, I think uh, I'm having fun, and that's, that's all I wanted to do, and uh, we're making a lot of improvements on the bike, and that's it. You know, just uh, happy to be here. All right, our next race is coming up next weekend. We're going to Texas. It's over 100 degrees there. We raced there last year. It's going to be tough. Saturday, June 6, 9 p.m. Eastern, only on speed. Amazing racing in rounds one and two. We expect it to be just as good next week, so don't miss it. For Aaron Bates and David Bailey, I'm Jason Wagan. Thanks for joining us. For more information, go to speedtv.com. We'll be back next week from Texas. Congrats, Mike.